Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over one of the final parts in the AutoCAD um, warehouse design series. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be updating and making sure the layer properties are accurate. So this can be or have anything to deal with the deletion, um, renaming, any layer property change that has to be done. And where this comes into play and is important is in the real world or, you know, in your personal life. You may have inherited a drawing that has layer properties that are all over the place, whether they are the incorrect name, um, just have things or objects in them that shouldn't be in there. All the things can come up in the layer properties that just don't make a whole lot of sense and can really be confusing when you're trying to turn on and off the layers to make changes. So with that being said, this is going to be kind of a longer lesson. Feel free to skip through some of the parts that you don't find interesting and let's get right into it. Real quick, before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel. This gives me an understanding of how well the channel's doing. We just hit 600 subscribers. I really appreciate the support, like a lot. It's really nice to see that people find this stuff helpful. Again, this is a learning series. If you like the video, give it a like down below. If you want to see anything else done in AutoCAD, leave it in the comments section. If you think anyone else would gain value out of this video, please feel free to share it. All right, so I'm going to try and not bore you guys completely with everything that has to do with the layer properties in this video. But again, as previously mentioned, this is going to be a very, very kind of slow process and very detailed process that you're going to want to take some time and do. So we're not going to do everything in here, but I'm going to kind of show you what specifically you are going to run into or what you are going to do. Maybe a few tips or tricks and how to get it done. So the first thing we want to do is we want to look at our building and we want to turn every single layer on. So we're going to come up here to layer properties and I'm just going to hit this button right here, turn all layers on. And as you can see here, everything was pretty much turned on except for these fire extinguisher distance circles. These are labeled if I hover over them as the layer fire extinguisher distance. So they're in the right layers. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here to this button. And what this is going to do is turn the layers that we have uh, selected off. So we're going to click that. And I'm just going to start clicking literally everything in the drawing to kind of get just the layers turned off um, as quick as possible, right? So we have everything here clicked, 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 clicked. And we don't want to zoom out of the building completely yet. And there's a reason for that. I'll show you in a second. Now that we have all the layers turned off, what we're going to do is we're going to open our layer properties bot function going to click it and it's going to give me this list of layer properties. Now at the bottom here you're going to see that there's 22 layers displayed and we have a couple of them turned on and off are the majority of the rest. So the reason why I go through and turn all of them off with the ones I see is because the ones that are turned on this cadblock.com, this def points, um, this number in Q case all have nothing there. There is nothing in that layer. There was nothing put in there. There may have been at one time, but there is nothing that exists in that layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete those layers. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to come to the Q case. Again, we can turn it on and off and nothing appears on the screen. We're going to right click. We're going to come down to delete layer. And as you can see here, it just deletes the layer. We're going to do the same thing with our number layer. We're going to delete the layer. It just takes the layer right away. And then we are going to look for other layers. Cadblock.com. This is probably from a layer that I had or just office furniture pieces that I put in and it was in a layer but moved to a different one. So we're going to delete that as well. And then def points. So the thing about def points is you cannot delete that layer. It will always be there. So just again, I'll try and delete it and show you what the um, kind of screen shows. So the selected layer was not deleted. The following layers cannot be deleted. Layer zero and def points, the current layer, layers containing objects, and F ref, X ref, excuse me, dependent layers. So with that being said, now we have all of our layers deleted and we were able to knock it down to 19 layers. The first thing again I would do in a drawing is turn off all the layers and see what are still on. Then delete those layers because you will not need them. They have nothing in them. It is just empty space in your layers. And our goal is to become organized here 
So we want to delete all of the layers that don't have anything in them. All right, so now that we have all of our essentially useless layers deleted, what we're going to do is start moving things into layers that need to be organized better. So when you're in AutoCAD and you're drawing stuff and you're in a default function, the typical layer that it's going to put stuff in is going to be layer zero. So if you don't have anything in a layer, it's just going to automatically default you to layer zero. So the first place I always check in drawings is layer zero, and we're going to turn that on to see how much stuff is in there. So as you can see on the screen, there's a lot of stuff in layer zero that shouldn't be in a layer zero. We have the guardrail, the forklifts, the rack, the parking spaces. Those should all have a specific layer that we can turn on and off that is not in zero. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to do something easy. and We're going to do the guardrail first. And I'm going to scroll through up here our layers. And I can see that there is no guardrail uh, layer in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the mouse. I'm going to create a new layer, and we're just going to name it Guardrail. And actually, I think I spelled that right. We're going to do all caps. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to keep this up. You can either keep the, um, the layer properties box up, or you don't have to. Um, we'll close it for this example, but what we're going to do here is we're going to select all of this. We're going to select all of the guardrail in the drawing. Select this here. And we have a little bit down here. And as you can see here, it says layer zero up here. What we're going to do is we're going to come down here, the drop down, and it's all selected. And we're going to go to guardrail. And then it's going to give us this error. One or more objects has been moved to a frozen or turned off layer. The reason why this error is popping up is because the guardrail um, new layer that I put in there is turned off. It is not on. So what happens then if I click OK or close, you will see that the guardrail is no longer turned on. But I can just come back up to the layer property and I can go to guardrail and turn it back on. And as you can see here, it is now on. But we're going to turn that off, and we're going to do another one. So I also believe there is no forklift layer in here. So we are just going to create another layer that says forklift. Oops, wrong spelling. And click out of it. We're going to close the layer, and we are going to come here. We are going to then come up to the layer just as we did in the last example. We are going to go to forklift. Again, it's going to give us this same error, turned off or frozen layer. We're going to close that. And then I can come back up to the layer property, click on forklift, turn it on, and we're going to actually unfreeze it. But again, this allows you to turn on and off the layer and move the forklifts over. All right, so now that we have an understanding of how to make things or put things into different layers, now we're going to come through and kind of clean some stuff up. And this is where the time consuming part can happen because we're going to have to go to our layer properties up here. And then we're just going to kind of turn on and off some things and see what we can see. So for example, equipment, I'm seeing that as a refrigerator. So we are going to let's make sure that's all that's there. Yeah, we're just going to um, rename the layer and just put uh, lunch room fridge. And there we go. That's a new layer name. Uh, we can zoom back out again. And we are going to turn this layer here right on and off. And as you can see here, there's a bunch of little pieces and parts that are Part of this layer, um, you know, we can turn the building columns. The building columns are going to be fine. Charging, let's make sure the charging is good. Oop. There is another example of something that I see right here. It's this little red area. So we are going to select that. Another way you can do it too is once you select something, you can go to the um, properties down below. You can right click, press properties. And then you can see it's in layer zero. We are going to go over and that is a fire extinguisher. 
there. It's going to give us the same message, and then it moves it to the fire extinguisher level, which is turned off. I believe this rack. Let's see if we have a rack level in there. Uh, it doesn't look like we do, so we are going to create a new layer. We'll call it reserve racking. And then we are going to select all of the rack and Right click, go to properties, see it's layer zero. We are going to then go to, oops, bring it down to reserve rack. And as you can see, that now disappears. So again, it's one of those things where you are going to just have to go through this layers property button and you're just gonna have to do everything. You're gonna you're gonna have kind of have to just look at all the layers and at a micro level and not just a macro level. So it can be kind of time consuming, but making sure everything's organized up front will allow you to kind of not have to worry about this. And also the other thing I'll say is this is super important when you're trying to give a drawing to someone else so you don't become that person that didn't manage the layers properly. All right, so at the risk of um, boring anyone or you know looking at the details too much, we're gonna wrap the video up here. Again, this is more of a lesson to just show you that layer properties are important, kind of how I go through them at a high level. This can take hours. This can take a very long time. So don't expect to be going quick through this. There's micro levels that you have to look at. It's not just macro levels. So I don't have the time to do that, nor do I have um, the energy really to go through and make a complete you know, two hour video to show you how I'm gonna do this. But I do plan on updating everything else on this drawing. So that being said as well, I plan on sharing this drawing with whoever would like it. I wanna put it in a centralized um, file location. I'll have more updates on that once this series is finished. We probably have one or two videos left. I also wanna thank you guys for the support. It's been tremendous. If you have any questions, leave in the comments section below. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.